Yeah, what's up? The answer is yes. The answer is yes. If anybody sent me an email thinking that with their stocks a good idea, the answer is yes. If I think the economy is good, the answer is yes. Do you think the market's gonna continue to go up like this, ignoring all the facts of the, uh, and everything, the strife around the world? Yes. Do I think the Greece is gonna be a problem that's gonna affect the Euro, which will then infect the dollar and the market will go down? The answer is no. The market will never go down. The market will never go down because what I have tried to explain to you and what I'm trying to get through to you is that as long as I don't get rid of this quid. Now, if you're under, under, on the, don't understand what I'm talking about right now, the quid is something that started out in April of last year where I thought the market was going to pull back, so I started buying a little quid to hedge my portfolio, which has now morphed into some awful trade that I just can't get out of. Because at this point, it's only 17 more points. Might as well let that fucker go to zero to save the fucking world, okay? Now, recommendations on the show, okay? The answer is yes. Whatever you like, yes. Yes, I like it too. Yes, I do. Except for Rambus. Rambus sucks ass. Because Rambus should have to wait for a some sort of patent infringement lawsuit to go their way. But everything else, yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. What do you like? Oh, I like Akamai. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. That's another thing about right now, financial news reporting. If I was on a financial news report show, what would you talk about? Blah, 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 you can't fight the government. They write songs about it. They write songs about it, friend. Or put on a British accent. First of all, at this point, oh, let me show you something. See, I'm running out of ideas. See, this is my keyboard of wonder. Keyboard of wonder. That's how I pick stocks now. In a bull market, you don't need any sort of intelligence. You don't need any sort of uh, creative ideas. You don't need fundamental or even technical analysis. You bang your head on a keyboard. Oh, wait, wait, there you go. You pick up a few keys off the ground and then you buy that symbol. Oh, it's that easy. Talking about a dartboard, nah, this is, this is the keyboard on the head routine. That's how simple it is. That's right. And let me just tell you one thing. Does it make you nervous that the stock that you bought went down after you bought it? Don't fret now. Don't fucking fret. I don't want to hear you fretting. I don't want to know that you're like, I don't want to get into the market. I don't want to be the last one in on the bull on this bull market move. Hello? We have just begun. Dow 20,000. You think I'm making that shit up, bro? First of all, every stock's going to 1,000. And the Dow's going to 20,000. And the NASDAQ, oh yeah. Think about it. We're going back to 5,000. Not only are we going to, not only are we going to 5,000, we're going to 10,000, 20,000, maybe one fucking million on the NASDAQ. Because you can't stop prosperity. You can't fight the technology revolution of America and across the world. And guess who else is participating in the rally finally? Dry ships. Now, I promised, after buying it on the 6, and I sold it that first pop at like 6.12, 6.13, I said I wasn't going to get back in. I had bought the $7 calls for April at 15 cents. Remember I sold those at 20 cents? So 5 cents on a 15 cent item, percentage-wise, it's great. It's one of those pat in the back trades. So now the stock's up 20 cents. I know we're only talking about pennies here when, when Biden's up 450 points since I sold out about a year ago today. <laughs> oh, wait, you know what? Biden's up 200 points in the last month and a half. Hey, how about some Apple? Oh, I, own, I only own nine Macs and 75 iPods. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll, I'll add that to my portfolio. Now, now, just let me sell all my winners and hang on to the hedge, the hedge of doom. A hedge on a, stock, on, a, on a portfolio, which we are going up forever. The only way the quid's ever gonna go up is they're gonna do a 500 for one reverse split and it's gonna bring it back down to zero. So at this point, I have resolved, I have uh, accepted the fact that it's just $35,000 more to go. Who the fuck gives a shit at this point? I just can't, I just, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to hedge my hedge out of my hedge at this point. Oh, you're so emotional. You're so emotional. Maybe that's why you don't make any money. First of all, for all these skeptics out there, 
why don't you come to my house, all right? Just send me a private email. I'll let you, I'll let you, I'll let you delve into what I did when I was a child. From when I was 23 to 30, I made more money than you'll ever see, all right? I paid more in taxes than you'll ever see. Huh, huh, huh? You wanna know? You wanna know I own nine buildings. I own a Maserati I haven't even used yet. What? I bought my wife a $45,000 diamond ring. Oh, huh, what? You wanna step to this shit? You wanna play this? And also, you wanna you want, you want challenge me, huh? Now, you don't know if I'm making the truth. I would never buy a $45,000 diamond ring or a Maserati. I'm not a car guy or a jewelry guy. But you never know what. The point is what I'm trying to say is that at one point, this was when, when things were going well, things were going all right, things were going awesome. I was making money. And I probably made more money than you did. Yeah, that's right. Think about it. Think about it. Let it sit in there for a second. Yeah, so, and what... I'm not trying to give the illusion that I'm smarter than you or better than you or any of that stuff. I just want to help. I want to help. At this point, if you're watching any other television show or going to any other website or social networking, I just got this email about this big titted girl that was in Playboy that has a social networking website for traders. Hit the bid as a social networking site for traders. And if you want some big titties, I'll throw them up there for you, all right? I'll find a girl. Because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to be subtle about it. I'm trying to be subtle. I want girls to come on, have something to say, just not come out. You know what? You know what? Now I'm just gonna have the tick ticker. How about that? They'll just open their shirt and, still, and you'll see part of the breast and a ticker going by, huh? Oh wait, somebody steal that idea, right? Oh, uh, right now all the ideas out there. Somebody just stole that shit. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. Let me steal that shit. Oh wait a second. Oh, it's oh, oh it's only 8:30. All right, I wonder what symbol I'm gonna buy today. Bang your fucking keyboard on your head. Pick a stock. That's how simple it is. All right. So anyway. Let's talk about Akamai. Let's talk about the winner, okay? I was telling you guys to get the $30 calls for April. I didn't want to buy a $30 calls for March because I didn't think it would go up that quick. <laughs> I didn't think it would go up seven points in a matter of three or four or five days. Didn't think it had it in it. Oh, yeah. All right, so also I suggest, now I don't know, I, we, we, we'll never know about the dry ships. The thing is, the market has been sort of boring. So what happens on these boring days, the traders like to run to stocks and rip the shit out of them. So what better than rip the shit out of a stock that's probably worthless with a buy over takeover rumor or some other garbage, garbage, garbage. Anyway, Akamai's been a winner. I, I, I have to suggest that if you bought some at 26, 27 and it's trading at 31, 32, you might want to take something off the table, especially if you bought those options. But hey, if you bought the Marches, you definitely should be selling them. But if you bought the Aprils, maybe you could give them another couple of days to run. But the the ratio of down days to up days is almost concluded, okay? We had that little down move, down move for about, what, 10 or 11 trading days, and now we've gone up basically for 22, 23 trading days. So I'm thinking that it's gonna, sort of gonna run its course any day now. <laughs> oh, oh, are you saying the market's gonna go down? No, shut your mouth, listen to what I'm trying to, try to tell you right now. The market might go down for three days. Three days. You have three days. Three three days and just when everybody's starting to question it again and all the pundits come out and all the skeptics and the doomsdayer guys double dip recession I don't think this is good I don't think that's good oh and they have to give a reason for the stock market going up love the reasons love the reasons remember when we weren't we weren't happy about the the economic recovery about a couple of weeks ago remember when we were afraid about Greece remember Dubai Remember, remember the, the debt that was coming? Remember the bank issuing this and doing that? Remember all the negative news that was coming out in that two week period when the market actually went down? Manipulation. Government manipulation by the big boys. The media is in cahoots. They, they say, we need, we need the market to take a breath here so we can rebuy all our shit. Let's start saying this, that, and that. Yes, that's a good one. Let's say that. Something about Greece going out of business, the whole country's gonna fall apart. Say that, say that. They say that, market sells off a little bit, the money guys sit there, oh, let me get some stock. And then like, let's not release anything negative now for a good two weeks, and then we'll all cash out. I tell you, this looks just like 07, 06, 07, 08, and the market will creep up and creep up. I'm telling you, December 2012, before we even have a freaking another bear market. Bull market, bear market, whatever the case. This is what I have for the market. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's no way, there's, there's no reason to be any other way but buying everything indiscriminately, blindly, and not, not looking. Just don't look. 